2019. We have reached the end of the 2010s. Can you believe it? I guess I can, but I can't. I can, but I can't. We're also playing a game of Buck, Buck Moose. See? Because there's no Duck the Goose. Ooh. Ooh. Anyways, January 15th. Pittsburgh broadcaster C. Blast announces his retirement at the end of the season after six years with the P Pittsburgh team. He was a pitcher for, with him for 10 years and won a World Series in 1971 with the Pirates. January 22nd, Manny Rivera, no, Mariano Rivera, Roy Halladay, Edgar Martinez, and Mike Messina elected to the Hall of Fame. R Rivera was the first unanimous choice, and Halliday was voted in his first year posthumously. And Mussina was on his sixth try, and Martinez was on his final try. March 20th and 21st, Seattle versus Oakland at the Tokyo Dome. Seattle won the first one 5 0 and won the second game 5 4. And after the second game, Ichiro Suzuki retires. April 30th, CC Sabathia is a 17th pitcher and third lefty to get to 3,000 strikeouts. May 7th, Mike Fears records Emil Mitty's 300th no hitter. Yeah, well, he yeah, obviously threw a no hitter. And a 300th. Yeah, uh, Oakland beat Cincinnati 2 to nothing, by the way. Uh, let's see. Yeah, okay, here we go. May 15th, Toronto pitcher Edwin Jackson joins his 14th team in his 17 year career. I didn't list the other 13 teams. Like, you talk about, you look up journeyman. Yeah, Edwin Jackson in baseball and Keith Acton and, oh wait, no, that was Brent Ashton in hockey. Yeah, you got a round too. Yeah, June 29th, Yankees 17, Boston 13, and first Major League Baseball game in Europe. It was played at London Stadium in London, England. July 20th, Pittsburgh celebrates its 40th anniversary of the 1979 World Series win. Pittsburgh won 7 no <coughs> Pittsburgh won 5 to 1, sorry. The entire 79 team showed up and the Pirates were the their their black jerseys and their gold pants. I think it was a gold pants and their black pillbox hats from 1979. It's pretty neat. Standings. Yankees took the American League East, 103 and 59. Tampa Bay goes 96 and 66. Takes the wild card. Boston goes 84 and 78. Toronto goes 67 and 95. Baltimore goes 54 and 108. Minnesota takes the Central at 101 and 61. Cleveland goes 93 and 69. Chicago goes 72 and 89. Kansas City goes 59 and 103. And Detroit, another miserable season at 47 and 114. <coughs> Excuse me. Houston goes 107 and 55 to take the American League West. Oakland goes 97 and 65 and takes the other wild card. Texas goes 78 and 84. LA goes 72 and 90. Seattle goes 68-94. Atlanta goes 97 and 65 to take the National League East. Washington goes 97 and what was it 60? No oh boy, I think that's 63. No, well, that's 93 and 69. Sorry, Jesus Christ. That, that, that Washington goes 93 and 69 and takes one of the wild card spots. Mets goes 86 and 76. Philadelphia goes 81 and 81. Miami goes 57 and 105. St. Louis goes 91 and 71. Milwaukee goes 89 and 73 and takes the other wild card. Chicago goes 84 and 78. Cincinnati goes 80, 75 and 87. Pittsburgh goes 69 and 93. Dodgers takes the taste the West. 106 and 56. Arizona goes 85 and 77. 70, San Francisco went 77 and 85. Colorado goes 71 and 91. 
And San Diego goes 70.92, and I'm gonna go blow my nose, and I'll be right back. And we're back. And I don't think anybody wants to hear me blowing my nose. Anyways, Tim Anderson of Chicago, 335 batting average, led the majors. Jorge Sola, Sola Kansas City, got 48 home runs, led the American League. Jose Abreu of Chicago, 123 RBIs, led the American League. Justin Verlander of Houston, 21 wins, led the majors. Garrett Cole of Houston, had 2.50 ERA that led the American League, and had 326 strikeouts that led, this, led the majors. 329, that was a beast season. Christian Yelich of Milwaukee, 329 average, led the, Mer led the National League. <coughs> Excuse me. Pete Alonso of the Mets, 53 home runs, led the majors. Anthony Rendon of Washington, 126 RBIs that led the majors. Steven Strasburg of Washington, 18 wins, led the Nash League. Hyun Jin Ryu of the Dodgers, that's Hyun Jin Ryu of the Dodgers, that's South Korean, I believe. 2.32 ERA that led the majors. And Jacob the Grum of the Mets, 255 strikeouts that led the Nash League. Wildcard. One game wildcard. Tampa Bay beat Oakland. 5 to 1 in Oakland and Washington at home won 4 to 3 over Milwaukee. Now we do the division series, Tampa versus Houston. Game 1 in Houston, Houston wins 6 to 2. Game 2 in Houston, Houston wins 3 to 1. Game 3 in Tampa Bay, Tampa Bay wins 10 to 3. Game 4 in Tampa Bay and the Tampa Bay wins 4 to 1. Game 5 in Houston, Houston wins 6 to 1. Homer series. Home team won every game. Houston's in the ALCS. But who will they play? Minnesota versus the Yankees. Game one in New York. Yankees win 10 to 4. The Yankees win at home in game two, 8 to 2. And they win game three in Minnesota, 5 to 1. So that was a three game sweep. Got Yankees versus Houston. National League. Ah. Yeah, there's a pay, there's a copy. National League, Dodgers beat Washington at home 6 to nothing to open that series. Washington evens it up and winning game 2 in LA 4 to 2. Dodgers win game 3 in Washington 10 to 4. Washington wins game 4 at home 6 to 1. And Washington wins game 5 in LA 7 to 3 in 10 innings. And Washington's in the National League Division, National League Championship Series. St. Louis beats Atlanta to open that series, 7-6 in Atlanta. Atlanta wins game 2, 3-0 to even it. And Atlanta wins in St. Louis, 3-1 to, to win game 3. St. Louis wins game 4 in, at home, 5-4 to four in 10 innings. And St. Louis wins game 5 in Atlanta, 13-1. So Washington versus St. Louis. So, game 1 in Houston, Yankees win 7-0. Game two in Houston, Houston wins three to two and eleven. Game three in New York, Houston wins four to one. Game four in New York, Houston wins eight to three. And game five in New York, Yankees win four to one. And the Yankees, no, Houston wins game six at home, six to four. So they're in the World Series again. Washington versus St. Louis. Game one in St. Louis. Washington wins game two. Game Washington wins game one in St. Louis, two to nothing. Ugh. Game two in St. Louis. Washington wins three to one. Game three in Washington. Washington wins eight to one. Game four in Washington. Washington wins seven to four. And this was the fiftieth World fiftieth League Championship Series. Yeah, first one was in '69. They didn't play it in '20. They didn't play it in 1994. Stupid strike. So this was this was marked the ha, the 50th League Championship Series. So the 115th World Series. Washington versus Houston. Game one in Houston. Washington wins five to four. Washington wins game two, 12 to three. 
in Houston. Houston wins game three in Washington, four to one. Houston wins game four in Washington, eight, eight to one. And Houston wins game five in Washington, seven to one. Hmm, do you smell what's going about to happen? If you said the road team's gonna win the, every game, well, yeah, you'd be right. Washington wins game six in Houston, seven to two, and Washington wins game seven in Houston, six to two, to take their first ever World Series. It's the first time the road team had won every World Series game. And it was the first time Washington had a World Series title since 1924. It was also Washington's, I think it was, I think this might have been their Washington's first visit to the World Series since 1933. So anyways, there's 2019. Tomorrow, the pandemic shortened 2020 season. Now we had 60 games and you had to play within your division, but... We'll get to that tomorrow. Until then, stay tuned.